Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to the stream of Starforge. I'm gonna just be messing around for a bit, so I may not be saying much for a while unless somebody jumps into the chat, but uh, otherwise I just want to mess around with kind of seeing how high I can build and how deep I can dig and and uh, see if I can find any limits to this game. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Aside from not wanting to buy this game. <laughs> It's a game called Starforge. It's actually, um, let's see, it's kind of uh, Minecraft meets Halo. It's probably the briefest way to explain it. It's early alpha. It's like 0 0.1. Uh, I think it just came out like a week ago or something, at least as far as being available for people to play in this version. Paul Soros Jr. video. That's how I learned about it. He had a video on it and um, he had just seen it and installed it and was doing video. And uh, so I watched his video and said Hmm, I'm gonna go try that. I don't remember my mouse being visible. So I'm not sure why it is now. Yeah, you can build. Here, I'll show you. Let's get away from this. Um, so you go into this build mode. You hold E down, and you get this menu that comes up, and uh, whatever you let go of E on is what you'll select. So you've got two options in this menu, and under the cylinders you've got like three over here. They're, they're just different blocks, um, not a whole lot of variation. These ones are like all wood, various crates. I think the third one's like a bigger one. And these ones, one of these is kind of a stone looking one, and one's similar. It's got a bunch of like branches or something. Let's, I'll put some down out here. My mouse is wigging. I may need to restart the game. So, like that. And you can jump and place blocks, so... Okay, let me try restarting something here. Let's see. There we go. Just need to get rid of that extra mouse. Um, there is actually. You can spawn mobs. Uh, mobs will spawn on their own. Right now there's a spider and a slug. And they seem to spawn at about five at a time. Um, if you hit the zero key it'll spawn them. Um, hitting the one key brings up your gun. And uh, you can place down. They already have turrets and stuff. Um, so if I hit five it'll put down a laser. And six puts down a rocket launcher. So you can, right now, you can put down as many of those as you want. Um, there's a spotlight. There's a spotlight. Although there's no day-night cycle. Um, and then they've got these melee, like these two are ranged, laser and rocket launcher. And then they've got these, um, called slammers. That's one of them. 
horizontal and vertical slammers. They twirl around and smack things that get near them, including yourself. Airborne. But you can't die. This version right now, there's no life, no health, or anything like that. Yeah, for this early in this early in the process, it's it's uh, pretty far along. Um, I already have a video um, I put up yesterday. Yeah, my Ween tries of this game. Um, today I just I wanted to mess around with. Um, kind of pushing the limits and seeing how far down you can dig and how high you can build. I kind of built up and I thought I hit the ceiling because it kind of wigged out and threw me on the ground. But um, people were saying that you can actually build um, really high, so um, for now I'm starting with the digging. I dug a little bit, but not very far down. People asked in my video if um, it was possible to tunnel. And I knew you could make tunnels, I just didn't know to what extent. So, here experimenting. Controls are still a little wonky, but... I'm afraid I might get stuck down in here, but we'll see. I suppose I could restart if I can't get out of somewhere. jump and move, so... I guess I am slightly going forward. Oops, down into a hole. Guess I could put blocks underneath me. Yeah, huh? You can fly around. Build little platforms down here. It's kind of hard to select certain areas. is kind of crazy. I guess I could make little platforms to jump out of here on. It's an interesting idea. Obviously, we like the Minecraft concept, and taking that into space and everything has always been a fun idea. It's being worked on by various people. I mean, probably in a year we're going to have a number of them to choose from as far as space Minecraft-like games go. So I'm cool with that.
still a little wonky to kind of jump around in here. Yeah. I love the idea of having a giant open area of space and having multiple planets and being able to build different things. That kind of environment seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Take like biomes, but you basically each planet is kind of representing a biome or something. Or maybe it has like two variations. So you kind of have like a snow planet and a, you know, all these other ones. Oops. One that's very much like a jungle and be kind of cool. Get up there. I guess I'm just making steps out of here. It's very hard to jump forward, though. Oh man, it's a little frustrating at times. jump and kind of move in a direction and you jump and try to move in one direction you seem to move in the other direction yeah use your jetpack I wish where's my creative mode it's like I can't you can't just jump and like move forward but you can't really run forward and jump you end up bumping stuff which knocks you back and Yeah, I mean you could, it just takes a while. I'm just trying to find, trying to set up a, uh, kind of, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? A consistent way to the surface. Since jumping is wonky, I figured if there's some kind of step. See, I keep jumping away from the wall. Urgh. Very irritating. Not that I can blame them, it's early, but. Nonetheless. I'm trying to see how far down you can tunnel, and I suppose I could just tunnel down until I can't tunnel anymore. But it'd be nice if there was an easy way out so I could kind of look down and get a good idea for a good feel for the depth based on how long it takes to get into and out of this thing. Oh, what's this? Is that the bottom? That sky I see out there? Hmm, this might be the bottom. Alright, well, if I have any issues, I shall restart the game. Let's see what happens here. No, oh, it doesn't let you walk on it. Oh, there it goes. Ah, look at that. Oh, oh look at that. It dropped me back onto my world. Ha <laughs> ha! That sounded painful. And enemies. There's another spider coming at me. Is he going to fall in the hole? Yes. It's Pac Man, yeah. be actually pretty funny. You build a tower that goes all the way up into space and eventually you come up to the bottom of your world and start digging up through the bottom. Could very well work that way. 
right now anyway. Well, that's I guess that's the easy way out. No jumping your way out. <laughs> okay, so let's go back down in there. Let's see. So we can see the bottom from here. So you definitely can't go infinitely down. But that is still a lot of room to work with. My guns are firing at mobs. Okay. This won't let you run down some type of ledges, but... holding forward and it just doesn't want to let let you run forward sometimes. It gives it this feel that it's kind of busted. Go forward. That takes way too long to get down. <laughs> Go. Let's fall out the bottom again. <laughs> can go into a slow motion here. Slug's waiting for me. Whoa, did it punch me through the world or what? Did I fall at the bottom again? I did. <laughs> no, not that time, though. <laughs> That's kind of funny. My guns have stopped shooting, so there must not be mobs here anymore. I don't see any. Yeah, they look kind of cool. I actually had a game uh, glitch on me a bit, and the uh, mobs that died wouldn't disappear, so I was getting a nice close-up look at them. And yeah, they look kind of cool. Worm dude's got all these teeth, like rows of teeth inside the mouth. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, so... Hmm, I'm trying to think here. Wondering if I can't just try that. Try building up through the bottom. Let's go into some build mode here. I think I already have... Whoops, I hear you. Not that you can hurt me, but... Down you go. Okay, where was I? That, that is dig mode. Okay. I'll try this again. Don't go backwards. See? He doesn't jump straight. It's no good. What the? He walked forward and he walks backwards. Jump forward. What's your problem? What? Yeah. Yeah, they got quite a bit of stuff for this early. I mean, I suppose you could develop a game for as long as you want and then release it and call it alpha. I actually, I have no idea how long they've been working on it. Just an uh, observation. I mean, they could have done this very quickly. Stay there. <sighs> what a pain. It, it, like, launches you backwards. Don't go backwards. all over the place. It's like I stop and hold still and he just kind of bobbles around a bit. 
hold still. Guess I'll have to try to make platforms to just fall on when I, when I eventually do fall. Plasma grenade. If I had one, I could shoot. That's about it. Got nothing else. I didn't even notice. Didn't even notice the typo. Get up there. Uh, multiplayer, not yet. So I'm pretty sure, at least. Um, that's the plan, though. Inch forward, don't fall. I saw one guy had a cool tactic when he fell, he would bring the game into slow motion, so I need to probably need to do that. Gives me a chance to throw a block on this thing on the side. Try to catch myself. Well, this is higher than I built before, so I definitely hadn't hit the ceiling, but something wigged out in the game. My guy like he got smashed and he just fell down. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. I haven't looked a ton into it. Um, I really don't know much about the guys making it or their plans. I've been on their website and looked at some information and, and uh, some of the concepts and ideas, but as far as the funding and everything goes, I'm not sure. Um, what do they have, though? I think their website had something about buying um, these points. Oh, I forgot what they called them, hatch points or something like that. I think that's the name of the company, Code Hatch or something. So they have hatch points. And I think you. I'm trying to remember, was there any purpose to those? I don't recall. Because I didn't really look into it. I thought it was like a. Pr uh, for like. You buy the points and you got some kind of discount on the game or something, but. Three nanners. I'm like, the nanners. Mm -hmm. Reading that right? How's it going? And welcome. Okay, well, you definitely can build much higher than I built before. Let's take another peek here. However, I don't think I'll be building up through into the ground of my world. Seems as though you can only fall through your world onto it. Oh, don't fall. Don't miss. Whew. Try to sidestep just ever so slightly. That was a huge jump. Not even sure. Please land this. It's fine. Face plants are okay as long as they stay on the platform. Try to back up a hair. Alright. Hmm. 
Wait a second, that's crazy. Is it detecting that rock? My cursor is kind of going and wrapping around it a bit. Hmm. Get up there. This will be quite the fall. Keep on going. Let's see how far I can go. Uh Alrighty, man, we'll see you later. I'll talk to you later. Hey, have a good one. Don't oh, fall. Oh. Back up here. can get up in here. <gasps> nope. No, 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 no. Stay there. I can't catch myself. <laughs> I'm spamming ground. Oh. Whew. Of course, I have no idea how I'm going to get back up. I'm just going to build up to that, I guess. Put my back to the platform's probably the best bet. Oh, it'll bounce me off the wall though. Well, here's the long fall. I'm trying to build on the side there, I can't reach it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty far. Let's sprint away from this thing. Pretty tall, much higher than I've built before. That is pretty tall. Now, if I fall through the ground, it's not exactly in the same location where I, f where I fell in through the sky. Uh, which is kind of what I was hoping for. I suppose I'd have to fall through, hit the ground, and build from that point. But let's see. Let's see what happens. I guess sprinting is the way to get through there. There we go. Out through the bottom. Oh, it just misses the platform on this side. Interesting. Splat. Oh, it sounds so painful. Very interesting. One second. Okay. Well, I think that's good enough for the height experiment. I don't want to try and jump my way back up there and take take a while. But let's see, let's go in here. quickly. There's no doors or anything yet, unfortunately early. Can't really be expected right now, but be cool. Actually, I think more than doors, I would love to have some stairs that you could run up, but that's alright. Is 
So what are you up to, V Nanners? I dig that name. Nanners. It's like a Nanner sandwich. just to land on one area. If you hit it by the edge, it just knocks you off of it. You have to land really right in the middle of it. Ugh. Get up there. It's as good a spot as any for a laser turret. I guess we'll make a little fort of some kind. Ow, that smacked me. Fell over. I think I can get rid of that. Let's see. Quick tap E. Oops. Is that right? And it doesn't work on the turrets, though. Bummer. Oh, that one fell over too. Alrighty, now I just look flutzy. I got turrets kind of just laying about. Let's see. This game just gets really slow. Understandable the state that it's in. But I may call this short. It's kind of getting slower and slower as I go. Pop in some stone. I don't know if it's actually stone, but that's what I'm going to call it. It's gray. It's got stony texture. Alrighty. I suppose if you were making a fort, you wouldn't make it out of wood crate, but... What can you do? Yeah, this isn't running so hot. Well, I think we're going to call it that. I uh, dug to the bottom, as you saw. Dug through the bottom of the world. Falling through that drops you out through the sky. And I built up a uh, very large structure there that uh, I did end up falling off of. So you probably go higher than that. It is very high up there though. So anyway, maybe we will revisit this. I may wait till there's a, um, to the next update or something and see if, kind of wait and s look for some newly added features. Um, I think we'll leave it at that. We'll see you guys later.